Howdy folks, this is Tony here, and I just wanted to, off the cuff, try to bring some logic to this whole police situation that we're seeing in our country, because I think you've kind of got two extremes here. You have the people on this extreme who will say ACAB, which I think stands for like all cops are bad, right? You know, they hate cops. They think every cop is evil. And then you have the extreme over here who says, no matter what, I'm backing the blue. You know, I believe in cops and all this stuff. I think we pretty much have two extremes here that we need to sort of just bring some logic to. And I think the reason why people have such a strong divide on how they see the cops is because of the way that law enforcement is done in a small town versus how it's done in a big city. You see, in a small town, the sheriff went to high school with your dad. The deputy goes to your church, right? One of the cops, probably his son and your son played on the same high school basketball team. There's There tends to be more of like a family connection with law enforcement in small towns, whereas in big cities, Cops tend to be more cold, unfriendly, more just down to business. And I can kind of understand where they're coming from. Because, you know, in a big city, cops have to deal with hundreds of people every day. And if their job always has them dealing with the dregs of society, like always dealing with the worst kind of element, then I could see how, after years of working that kind of job, why a police officer would become a little jaded. So I think that that's probably the main reason is because let me just break it to you folks, big cities don't work. When you have big urban cities, society always breaks down at some point because people reach like a critical mass where they're just living on top of each other, they start infringing on each other, and then it all just falls apart. And I think that's part of the wisdom behind why God separated humanity at the Tower of Babel. But anyway, my point is that I think that the reason why you have a lot of people who don't see eye to eye on law enforcement is simply because of that small town, big town dynamic. But let me just start by addressing this extreme over here, the ACAB people, you know, all cops are bad to fund all the police and all that stuff. Let me just be brutally honest. The reason why a lot of you want to defund the police is because you want to get away with stuff that you know that you should be getting arrested for. Like, you know, a lot of you, you have some sort of sick fetish with fire. You like setting fires to buildings, but you don't want to get arrested on charges of arson. So you'd rather defund the cops just so you can get away with burning people's houses and businesses down. I'm looking at you, you Antifas and you Black Lives Matter. You say all cops are bad. Well, really, how about this? You have officers who died on September 11th. They ran into a burning building to rescue people they had never even met before, died in the process, didn't get to come home and see their wife and kids again. Are you going to look that dead officer's son in the eye and say your dad was scum because he wore a badge? So you see, that's just ridiculous logic there. You can't just write off all cops. However, let me address this extreme over here. The people who no matter what, they're going to back the blue. Let me just put it to you straight. James Comey was in law enforcement. Wasn't he one of the directors at the FBI? Yet he used law enforcement to illegally spy on Donald Trump while he was uh, transitioning into the office of president. So you have law enforcement that is basically misusing their abilities to unjustly spy on a duly elected president. Are you going to back the blue when that happens? Are you going to back that law enforcement? Or how about this? When you have cops doing illegal gun confiscation, are you going to back that blue? You see, I back the blue when the blue's doing right. If a cop is out there protecting the innocent, arresting these crazy Antifa tards and Black Lives Matter fools, then yeah, I'm back in the blue. But you had this woman, Patricia McCloskey, and she, her husband also was involved in this, where you had these rioters break down their gate, have probably weapons in their hand, and threatening them on their own property. So Patricia McCloskey grabs her gun, Pointed out and you know basically warns people to stop trespassing, which is what any reasonable human being would do. She didn't shoot anybody because she didn't have to, but she brought out her gun to make a point, to make the point that, to say this is my property. You don't have the right to infringe on me. You don't have the right to break down my stuff and come in. Well, guess what? Some scumbag officers came and took her guns. 
Whatever police did that, I would never back the blue with those people. You see, I would find it easier to back the blue if they would stop firing all the good cops. Like, I can't remember his name exactly. I think his name was Greg Anderson. You had this officer. I think his name was Officer Anderson. I think it was Greg Anderson. He comes on YouTube and he makes some comments saying that the government doesn't have the right to just trample all over people just because of COVID. The government doesn't have the right to, to just strip people of their rights and cops should follow their oath and follow the constitution and respect people's rights. All he said was just some basic stuff that we all in this country should be agreeing on. And he got what, suspended or fired for it. And you'll see cases like that popping up everywhere. So here's the thing. I would back the blue if the blue if the good blue wouldn't get fired for being good. But that brings us to the real issue. The issue is not defunding that cop or defund, the beat cop is the least of your worries. What you really need to worry about is the lawyer behind the cop, that crooked district attorney who will sick the cops on you just to appease the mob. That's who you need to be worried about. Like the district attorney in, uh, was it St. Louis, Missouri? I think her name was Kim something. Anyway, these district attorneys, these are the lawyers who have the power to sick the cops on you. That's who you need to defund. The attorney general of your state, if he's sicking the cops on innocent people, that's who you need to get rid of. And that's another reason not to vote Biden-Harris in the election. She was an attorney general who would sick the cops on people who didn't deserve to be put in the slammer. You want that in the White House after if Joe Biden dies, you know, because they put porcelain in his cereal and he, or he dies of a heart attack three weeks after inauguration. You want that as president? No way, Jose. Anyway, the other people you need to worry about, the police chief, the city commissioner, the city manager, the mayor. These are different positions that depending on what kind of city you live in, they have the power to send the cops after you or not send the cops after you. And if they are misusing these cops and sending them after innocent people, that's who you need to defund. Defund the district attorney's office. Defund the mayor. Defund the city manager or the city commissioner. That's who you really need to be worried about. But the beat cop is honestly the least of your worries. But here's the thing. If you're a beat cop and you, you, you say yourself, you know, I've talked to good cops. I have talked to cops who have told me that they agree with the rights of the citizen and they wouldn't want to infringe on somebody's rights. And if that's you, you're a great cop. Good job. Keep it up. However, I have talked to cops who have said they don't care what the law is. They're going to enforce it anyway because they don't want to lose their job and not be able to provide for their family. And if that's the kind of officer you are, I need you to zoom out and see the bigger picture here. One day you're going to retire. One day you might get fired because you might think everything's everything. I've done everything the mob wants me to do. I'm okay. Well, there may come a day where you're no longer useful to the mob and they decide to cast you to the side. And so if you were to lose your job and no longer have that badge tomorrow, could you live in the world whose crooked laws you helped enforce? Could you live in the environment that you have set out? So that's all I really wanted to say about the cops. I want to, if you're the officer that's going to enforce anything, no matter what, I need you to realize that someday you're not going to have that badge and you'll have to live under what you have enforced. Could you live with that? If you're a good officer, keep up the good work. But I just want to let you know, we should not be hating all cops without a cause. But at the same time, we should not be worshiping cops either because cops are human beings too and they're also capable of doing sin and doing wrong. So we need to keep that balanced perspective. Don't hate the blue. Don't worship the blue. How about we respect the blue and hold the blue accountable? Anyway, you guys have a great day.